feature division. Today I will be show how to open a browser without driver with Gradle Selenium and Java. Let's show let's see guys how we can do that. For that we need a dependency. Basically you need to download uh, copy the dependency so I go to the Maven repository where easily you can find out the Gradle dependency and I'm looking for web driver manager 5.3 is the latest version 0 and I copy this dependency and paste here and I can re-import it hopefully dependency will be checked properly yeah look like it's successfully there is no problem found now I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to create a one package here. I'm going to create a package here. New Java package. Package. And I'm going to give the package name com dot base. All the base class will be here. And then I'm going to create a, another class which is called script skip that. So I have a class here. So what we actually just create a one simple method, void method, public void uh, init. I give the name in it and provide it. The method is created. Then say the model method will be indicate the what will be used. As you know that if you want to avoid the driver, we need to use the web driver manager, which I already use web driver manager dependency. If you go here, you will see here that we have uh, GitHub from the GitHub Muni Garcia, which is the web driver manager version 5.3 using. So we need to indicate that. For that, we're going to call the WDM manager dot dot. We want to use this option over here Firefox driver, Safari driver, Opera driver, Chrome driver, Chromium driver, uh, Edge driver, Get instance, all those IE driver and docker is, is docker all those options is available from WebDriver manager. For now, I'm going to use the Chrome driver driver and dot setup for this line this line of code will be help you to avoid the chrome driver indicate the chrome driver you don't have to physically download the chrome driver and put the path anymore for that for that reason for this reason so now we have this code the simple things now I'm going to call web driver driver equal new web driver oh I bet well web driver driver I just call the web driver, web driver then I'm gonna say driver equal new chrome driver chrome driver Okay, driver dot get get. We want to need some automation website automation practice practice. This website, I think this one I'm gonna copy 
the URL, PHP URL, and provide here. Okay, provide here, and we want to run the test. Make sure that it's from this web driver is uh, web driver manager is opening this URL. So what you have to do because remember that we have uh, test ng earlier earlier video we use uh, our test ng dependency using so in our framework we're going to use the test ng so you're going to just top up the method you're going to say at the rate test which is the test in general so it's become a test method before was the void public void method only regular method now become a test method because you add the add generation add generation test so for that reason you can run your test so like if i remove it now and if i want to run this method there is no run option you will find out there is no but if i have test method over here and then if i want to run this method and you will see the run in it run in it so this test method become a this method become a test method and i can able to run and i see that uh the chrome driver was started successfully and opening the our automation test website it's taking time yeah it's open successfully that means our code is work and i don't have to provide system dot set property uh line and show that over here somewhere in our project type driver I don't have to show it anymore because we're using web driver manager chrome driver so now question is like if i want to use uh, safari firefox use the firefox so firefox driver over here and now over here just change the firefox driver and run the test again and you will see only simple change that now firefox will be open this taking some time sure why taking time sometime it's happen yep it's running yeah firefox is open you can see the firefox browser is opening and our website will be open over here yeah cool so today we learn how to add web driver manager dependency in our project and with simple code we can open a browser any kind of browser without the driver what kind of browser without driver you can see over here again i put the dot web driver manager dot you will see here firefox browser chrome driver safari driver opera driver chromium driver ls driver those driver you can open with the with, without the driver only provide the web driver manager so that's it for today note that make sure that whatever browser you want to run in your local machine make sure install it first if you use the chrome driver install in your machine chrome driver even even firefox driver uh, safari driver uh, chromium driver it has to be installed in your machine otherwise when you run the test it will be not work uh, so that's it for today guys if you like my video please feel free to click the like button and feel free to comment uh, and waiting for next video very soon thank you so much